and we are back once again with slime east kai memories and we are back once again with mirror world memoirs today we are continuing the abridged story of the original story of this game so last time we had to fight uh kiyoyo or koyoyo whatever his name was and now we have another new enemy so let's see whose arc is it this time so we need water yep no i need to get these guys right there we go 290 all right this team looks all right all right i'm counting on you don't let her die okay yeah of course she's the key we need if she breaks the door of the worlds we desire will never open up again i'll handle her with care Okay, wait. Is this actually going into Mad City versus Tempest? Because that's interesting that this event, like, does actually consider that event canon. So that is kind of story that you do need to see the original story, like, conclude. Because that is a arc. But we'll see. Maybe I'm just talking. A little too early. The key we need, huh? True. Rimuru was able to awaken, so she had just as much potential. That's why I saved her on spur of a moment. But... Everyone, I'm sure you already know who this is, but let me introduce him anyway. This is Diablo, the one who saved me from certain death. But he's new here. He's really strong and dependable. So I plan to put him to work as a secondary secretary. I'd like you all to treat him well. Everyone, I would deeply appreciate your guidance and encouragement. Give me a break. He named and tamed the demon that even Kokoyo didn't stand the chance against. Kokoyo was my paranoia's masterpiece, the strongest kaijin that could be created. And yet, teach him the ropes of the job for me. Understood. With the Rimuru awakened, the others around him have also evolved. Even that woman is on a different level compared to when she took on Dodomeki. That sword she's casually carrying around on her back is now made out of unique material. The ogres he fights and makes are way stronger than Kokoyo ever was. At this rate, not only will I not be able to kill Rimuru, but even his minions will have me. Hey, wait a minute. A new weapon, eh? I don't remember it being so difficult to make a weapon. After all, Koyo made bullets, and the scales of the Kaleido sky. They're from a living creature, but scales that can reflect all attributes will be an incredible material to work with. My paranoia can need the scales with Veldora's magicules. Hmm, I guess I haven't been thinking outside the box recently. Just because I can't make a creature that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Rimuru, that doesn't mean I can't make a weapon that could finish him off. That's it. There is a weapon that could kill Rimuru. And I've got the skills to make every detail of it perfect. Rimuru-sama 
Great Rimuru is calling for you. Yeah, I know. But I just finished off Shion's meal. So, let me take a little rest. They're saying it tastes better now. But I just can't believe that. They're saying it tastes better now, but I just can't believe that. Try it for yourself and find out. No thanks. Huh? What's this presence? I'm sensing. Is it from the wash bin? I made this on a whim, but you two are the perfect guinea pigs, especially considering that you are some of the most important amongst Rimuru's followers. What? Where are we? I can't connect with Great Rimuru. It seems like this space is special. A red ogre, and a blue one. You two must be the enemies that Mother was talking about. Who are you? I sense you're no human. Oh, so you can tell. I really do like her design, you know, as I said. Not better than the last guy, but I mean... Hey, she's got a pretty good design. I really do love her hair. The black and white. And then the red and black all over. Like, it's just chef's kiss. Yeah, everything's cool about her. It's just she can't she can't be number one. I just really love the other guy too much. Your physical composition is almost no different from that of a human. But it bears an unusual amount of match skills. But, what is this I'm sensing? It's almost like Lord Veldora's magicules. How could that be? I can feel your hostility. Identify yourself. Did you hear that, mother? Won't you give me a name? What am I called? Mother? You think I'm your mother too? You're a strange one. Just like Shinsha. Hmm. How about... Hyuga? Okay. If you say so. That'll be my name. I am... Hyuga. Satisfy now, ogre. Now that she's been named, her presence seems to have sharpened, though only slightly. But the fact that both she and the woman who named her are perfectly still, that must mean... They both got unusually high magical levels. We better finish them off before they get any stronger. Also, yeah, why does Isis not help in any of these combat scenarios? Like, she was helping Dodo Meki, but is she gonna help Hyuga too? Like, she could have. Nah. Actually, no. Whenever, like, Rimuru was battling some of them in the real world, of course, Isis couldn't really help. Isis could have helped Vigra and Katara Wolf. She could have helped Jinfrit. She could have helped Trishla out. She could have helped the Orc Thirst out. She could have helped Demon Lord Fabio. She could have helped Shinsha out, and now she has the chance to help Hyuga out. But I'm guessing she's not. So that's like eight different times that she could help. Well, seven times she could have helped, but this is going to be the eighth. We'll see. That's funny. You two think you can defeat me? Do you? Ack! Your reflexes are quick, but your movements not so much. I landed three hits on you. Four more, and you'll die. Soy! That rapier of hers reeks of death. 
So you noticed. You're pretty clever. But you know what? It's all just simple math. Seven strikes of this blade to bring death. And there's two ogres to slay. So... She needs 14 strikes on them. Urk. <laughs> 14 strikes and mother's request will be fulfilled. That rapier is deadly, but her swordsmanship is pretty good too. How did you acquire such skills at your age? I don't know. It's just something I was born with. Do you ever think about why you can walk? No, right? It's natural and simple. Just like your death will be. And, well, it's evolutionary. We were kind of evolved to walk on our legs. So I'm guessing that's how it was for the ogres as well. And probably the humans of that world and probably every other monster creature in that world. She's stronger than I imagine. I created her with the intention of replicating Hinata Saguchi's. And not only does she look like her, but she's even got her skills. That one time when I tested megalomania on Hinata, being the saint that she is, I couldn't get her to hate herself the way I intended to. But with her higher rank skill of paranoia, I was able to replicate Hinata this well. And more importantly, I was able to create this rapier that kills any opponent with seven strikes. Two more for the red ogre. Who'd have thought that she could take both of us on at once? I can feel it in my soul. I'm really going to die with two more hits. That rapier has its own rules of battle. Strength, mana, health. None of that matters. It simply becomes a game of striking the opponent seven times. The real Hinata has the weapon and skills to dominate. And with a human body. It's no wonder she'd come up through the ranks. Don't talk about her when I'm here. Aren't I good enough for you? You're right. That was insensitive of me. <laughs> Whether you're a Majin or not, it doesn't matter. As long as you beat those two, I shall be delighted. You can do this. You can even kill Rimuru. Whoever my opponent is, I just need to land seven hits. It's easy. They're trying to kill Great Rimuru? I don't know if what she's saying about the seven hits is true, but we must finish them off here. Are you sure you want to be so valiant? Approaching me like that when death is just around the corner. I will gladly give up my life in order to protect Great Rimuru. Me too. But I don't intend on dying or letting Soy die either. Two more for the Red Ogre. And three more for the Blue One. I don't even need seven more hits, but I'll take this seriously, since it's mother's request. I don't even need seven more hits, but I'll take this seriously, since it's mother's request. I'm kind of confused on I don't need seven more hits since... Oh, okay. She was basically saying, like, I, I wasn't counting the number of hits that they took. But yeah, all she needs is five more. The seventh strike shall eliminate all color. Morten Seal. Yep, and here's her full design. Still looks great as well as the day I saw it. They really do need to add her as a card 
all these characters need to be like potential summonable units or at least free to play units that you can get on some kind of like event or something like tower of isis should have been giving out these characters since they do kind of appear in there. Oh man, I hope I chose the right team. Oh yeah, she's fire. remember correctly, I don't think she has the ability to heal. Yeah, this particular time we are getting some good RNG. turn blue into green or orange into blue. Let's go orange into blue. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Resistant critical. Incoming bind attack. Do I have anything to counter that? I don't think so. So I just gotta work with what I got. Blue into green. Go with orange, it's blue. And yeah, one more turn and she's gone. What's her ultimate again? I'm pretty sure that's just the Hinata card that came out uh, whenever. Like the water Hinata. I'm pretty sure I have her on the team somewhere. Ooh. Yeah, hold on. There, let me finish you with your true self. Alright, so let's see. Do this. Just as an extra precaution. Yep, she got the victory. Ah, damn it. It didn't show Hinata as the end screen. Ah, man. I wanted the little irony to be in. Gah! One more each. No, that's nine more. What is this scaling of their models? I don't remember this. <laughs> Gabata looks huge. He looks like he's playing with his Soy and Benimaru action figures. Or it just looks like either they've been shrunken down or Gabata's just been like turned huge. One of those two, but this is a ridiculous sight to look at. I do not remember this at all. 
But I do remember him coming in for the save. That part I do remember. A green hobgoblin? You're late, Gabata. I bet he was going to stay hidden and avoid fighting altogether. <laughs> and he's just here like, Come on, guys! I wanted to save you! Why are there more? Well, I took refuge in the shadow just when Shion's cooking got served. But I kind of missed the right timing to reveal myself. My plan is falling apart. Like, see, I, I also called BS on this part, I'm pretty sure, back then. Because if she was, like, main advantage of the entire fight, like, she could have been, like, I don't know, probably 90 to 95% healthy and not taken a single bit of damage that entire fight just owning Soi and Benimaru. But then suddenly, Gabata comes out of the shadows and sneak attacks her. It's like, I don't see any way that Gabata could have done that much damage unless it was a critical hit, like, on her neck. Or somehow he got past her armor and, like, did a deep cut in her chest or something like that. To where now she's suddenly losing. Like, they still each have one hit. And Gabata is, like, not that strong in comparison to Soi and Benimaru, but Gabata is strong in his own right, as like shown in that he can hold himself in battle when they went to war with Clayman. Well, I'm pretty sure that hasn't been shown yet, but if you know, you know, in the battle with Clayman and his forces, and him holding off the Falmoth army whenever they were doing that. There! You're not getting away! Gah! No! Way! Gobata! And see, here's Isis, like, not helping at all. It's like, she could have possibly sniped Gobata as soon as he came out. Or could have at least, like, pushed... Soi or Benimaru closer to Hyuga to do the finishing blow. But this is just letting all this happen. Shoot that woman there. She's also after great Rimuru's life. <laughs> like she's looking there like she's not like she's like, what? I'm just a passerby. I don't know what's going on. Roger that. Case Cannon. Eek! Nuck! Huh? Hyuga, you're... Gah. Mother. You... Can't... Die. Like, what, what I was imagining is that she was being held together, like, on the strings that Soi created and was probably being burned by Benimaru. And then as soon as she saw Isis about to be attacked, she ripped herself off the threads to go save Isis. Now, that's kind of a bloodier situation that, than what we see right here, because I'm pretty sure they can only show, like, PG stuff here. We, we see very little blood in these cutscenes, but in the show, it is actually pretty bloody. People losing arms, and you can see blood quite often whenever a critical hit is done. And another! Gah! Get out! Whoa! Gasp! Oh. What? My chest! It hurts! I guess Xion's cooking can't be trusted after all. 
My chest hurts too, and I was only listening to the conversation. Wait, when did I get here? I knew you were going in the shadows all along. But let me guess, you were trying to avoid Xion's cooking too, huh? It may have looked bad, but actually tasted good. Hmm. I don't know. Ugh. I've had it! Why does someone always have to spoil things just when they're going my way? And no more than a stupid goblin with a bit of hair at that. Damn, she's taking jabs at Gabuta's appearance. But it's like, maybe things would go your way if you weren't so evil. Like, if your plans didn't always employ killing someone to get stronger. Or having to do something by destroying someone or something. Like, just chill! If you were to, like, search up or research the unlimited imprisonment on your own time and not bother anyone, I'm sure things like this wouldn't happen. Gah! Mother! You... can't... die. I'm sure... Mother doesn't want... to be lonely... either. So I have to go home. I have to... go home. What strange children. There should be no way that a creature born from me would prioritize others over themselves. Kokoyo wanted a nation. Shinsho wants a family. I wonder what Hugo wanted. Alright, and so the next one is Faceless Mirror. But yeah, I think that's where I'll call it here for today. That was an entire arc in its own. That was a pretty short arc overall, though. I expected a bit more. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Slime Iskai Memories Mirror World Memoirs. If you guys did, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias, like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLive, my TikTok. Make sure to like and comment on everything. And even check out my new social medias. Like my Kick, where I stream occasionally. My Rumble, Odyssey, and Daily Motion, where I also post my videos if you prefer those sites. And even check out my Discord. There you can stay up to date with everything I choose to do, whether it's my streams, videos, or anything else. But yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.